dive into the beauty of New Zealand's biggest national park. From scenic waterfalls to an adrenaline inducing flight, this is not a vlog that you want to miss. In this vlog, we spend an incredible day in the Fiordland National Park, which is located in the southwest of New Zealand, South Island. This remarkable national park features stunning fjords, spectacular waterfalls and snow-capped peaks, which we explore by ground, water and air all in 24 hours. Home to the infamous Milford Sound, Fjordland is by far the largest of all the national parks in New Zealand, with a massive area of more than 12,000 square kilometres. This spot is definitely deserving of more than one day, but if you are short on time, keep watching to see how we hit all the top spots in a single day trip. As you enter Fiordland National Park, you'll notice a change in terrain as you drive through the Eglinton Valley, which was carved by glaciers thousands of years ago. This was the location for our first stop, but make sure you watch the whole video as each stop only got better and better as the day went on. Our next stop was the famous Mirror Lakes, where on a clear and calm day, you can see the Earl Mountains reflecting in the lake. There's a short boardwalk that runs beside the lake of about 100 metres, which is a great way to disperse the crowds, so it didn't actually feel too busy when all there. We're at Gun Lake and it is spectacular. Highly recommend a stop off here. It's just so still, the water is so crystal clear. It is just beautiful. You just breathe in the cold, clean air and you just feel at one with nature. It's really magical, this trip. So beautiful. Next up was a quick stop to the stunning roadside Falls Creek Falls. These falls had a backdrop of lush greenery and the water was an incredible crystal blue colour. Right next to Falls Creek Falls were the powerful Falls Creek Rapids. The velocity and turbulence in rapids create bubbles just below the surface, making the water a vibrant milky blue colour. Peter had no qualms walking right up and drinking the clean, crisp alpine water from the river. You can't get water much more pure than this. Next quick stop was Monkey Creek, which is a glacier-fed spring located in the Hollyford Valley. While we weren't so lucky, this is often a spot where you can see the local and endangered Kia bird. Look at that, what an incredible view. Our second highest viewpoint of the day, more to come on the highest later, was the Gertrude Valley Lookout. Here we only stopped quickly to enjoy some awesome views of the Darren Mountains. Our next stop was Totoko Suspension Bridge. This wooden suspension bridge lies across the Totoko River with Mount Totoko, the highest mountain in the Fiordland, soaring in the background. This might have just been one of my favourite stops. It was so scenic with the water rushing over the boulders in the river. So we've just hopped on the boat and we're about to do the Milford Sounds Fjord Cruise. And we might even see some penguins. And dolphins. Dolphins. Takes about an hour and a half, we're really excited. And then onto our flight, because the weather's good, we've been told that the flight is on, so we're very, very happy. And we get to see an awesome vantage point from the sky, so we've got to do land, sea and sky today, so it's an awesome tour. Slightly terrified for the flight, but I'm sure it'll yeah. be incredible. The plane didn't look very big at all. <laughs> As we started our adventure out into the fjord, we secured a spot at the front of the boat where we were able to enjoy some amazing landscape views and a slight breeze through Grace's hair. It didn't take long before we got to meet some of the cute little furry locals of the fjord as we spotted a few penguins playing on the slippery rocks and diving into the cold fjord water. After the penguins, we then got to see the sleepy seals lounging across the rocks enjoying sporadic rays of sunlight coming through the clouds. While the sea animals are incredibly cute, the truly wow moment of this cruise was the gigantic and powerful waterfalls cascading over the cliff face into the fjord. First we passed Lady Bowen Falls, one of the two permanent waterfalls here, and the tallest coming in at a whopping 162 metres. Next we passed Stirling Falls, where we got even closer to the waterfall and ended up getting completely drenched with the spray of the fast falling water. The drive from Queenstown to Milford Sound takes around four hours without taking into account all of the wonderful stops that we made. So if you're doing a day trip like us, this means that a return trip would involve a whopping eight hours in the car. 
as it was my birthday, we decided to treat ourselves with a little scenic flight back to Queenstown, which only takes around 30 minutes. Slightly nervous. <laughs> I'm not too good with small aircraft and I was seriously rethinking our decision when we boarded. However, the pilot was greatly reassuring and he was clearly great at his job. This is where our day got seriously memorable. The experience was absolutely insane and well worth the splurge. We flew over all of the spots we had just experienced from the fjord and made our way through the dramatic snow-capped peaks of the Remarkables. The flight took us over alpine lakes that are only accessible by plane, which completely blew our minds. As we came back in over Lake Wakatipu, we got so lucky with perfect blue skies, with the sun shining off its magical blue lakes, which was amazing to experience from above. And sadly, it was time to disembark the plane. Though I'm not gonna lie, my legs were wobbly for a good few hours after the journey. Once we hopped off, we had the chance to snap a couple of memento pics and we were offered a complimentary shuttle back to our hotel in Queenstown. We really couldn't believe that so much natural beauty could be contained in such a small place. This day trip blew our minds with so many wow moments that kept getting topped as the day went on. Our tour was the perfect combination of being able to enjoy every single angle and vantage point of the National Park from land, sea and sky. When visiting the South Island of New Zealand, it really is a must that you dedicate a full day or two to explore this amazing National Park. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also check out our other New Zealand vlogs if you enjoyed this one.